Hi everyone, this is attorney Lillian with Lily Legal. So today I'll be doing something a little different from my other videos. Um, I talked to you guys so much about the immigration interview, what to expect, um, and what type of questions you may be asked and how the whole process goes. So today I'll be going um, through and watching with you The Proposal. Um, it's a movie with Sandra Bullock and I'm blanking on his name, Ryan Reynolds. And they are basically um, two people got married technically just for immigration purposes, but they ended up falling in love. If you've watched the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this scene that I will be basically going through and analyzing with you all is their immigration interview okay so let's get into it let's see if it's similar to what you will expect at your own interview or if hollywood got it wrong okay so let's go ahead i have it all queued up let's watch it he explained to you the process that's about to unfold step one will be a scheduled interview. I'll put you each in a room and I'll ask you every little question that a real couple would know about each other. Step two, I dig deeper. Okay, guys. <laughs> First off, when you go to your interview, the officer is now going through step one. I will put you in two separate rooms. No, when you get there, you're going straight into the interview. Okay, no step one, step two, step three. You get there, the officer is calling you, um, if you're, if it's a marriage based case, the officer is calling the U.S. citizen spouse in first and asking, all the, asking them all the questions and then they will either bring in the non-U.S. citizen spouse and ask them exactly the same questions or they will have the U.S. citizen leave the room and then have the non-U.S. citizen come in and go through the interview process. This right here, setting the stage of what's about to happen, typically is not what you get at a real um, USCIS immigration interview. But let's keep going and see what else. I look at your phone records. I talk to your neighbors. I interview your coworkers. If your answers don't match up at every point, you will be deported indefinitely. And you, young man, will have committed a felony punishable by a fine of $250,000 and a stay of five years in federal prison. Guys, okay. So this is clearly a movie, very dramatic. But there are situations where the officer um, will bring up the consequences of immigration fraud um, to both parties. And... Um, so here, clearly when they saw that there was immigration fraud, you can see them getting scared. That is part of the tactics um, some immigration officers use in order to scare you into either saying that your marriage is not real or that you don't want to move forward with your application. So again, how real is this? Not typical, but um, do USCIS officers, like you said, in um, step two, dig deeper into your relationship, talk to your neighbors. If they believe that there's fraud in your case, they do have the right and ability to send it over to the fraud department that can do those home visits um, and that can dig into your history and figure out if you two are actually in a relationship. Again, very dramatic, but it doesn't usually happen that way. Truth is, <clears throat> Mr. Gilbertson, the truth is, Margaret and I are just two people who weren't supposed to fall in love, but did. Okay. 
So that was, again, dramatic pause. But will a USCIS officer ask um, that type of question? Yes, I have had this, um, this situation where the officer did not believe that the marriage was real and did ask one of the, um, the US citizen spouse, are you um, being paid to um, say that you're married to this person? Are you actually married to this person in good faith? And your response in that situation really matters, okay? Whether you freak out or if you stay calm and answer the question, again, the officer is trying to trip you up and get you to recant your relationship. So if the officer is doing that, just know that they are doing it for a reason, okay? And their reason is that they want to push you and see if you will um, recant your whole testimony and say that your marriage is not real. Again, scare tactics. If your marriage is real, you should be fine. We couldn't tell anyone we work with. This is my, my big promotion that I had coming up. Promotion? Yeah. We, we both felt uh, that it would be uh, deeply inappropriate if I were to be promoted to editor. Editor. While we were. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> Have the two of you told your parents about your secret love? Oh, I, uh, uh impossible. My parents are dead. <laughs> no brothers or sisters either. So. Go on. What, are your parents dead? Okay. So, yeah. Expect that type of questioning. Expect it. Um, there's nothing I've seen so far that's so out of the ordinary of questions that you should expect at your interview. The officer is allowed to ask you all these questions um, about whether your family know about you two. If you're if you work together, do your coworkers know that you're together? And if your coworkers don't know, why don't they know? Okay. Um, another thing is if you. Um, let's say you have health insurance through your work and you don't add your spouse to your health insurance. Why didn't you add your spouse to your health insurance? So, or is your spouse your emergency contact at work? So all those things you really need to um, be aware of because it does come up. Um, but again, the officer is being very, very dramatic and you could get an officer that's very um, dramatic that can be short with you um, that can get easily frustrated if you're not answering the question exactly the way they want it answered or they expect it to be answered so just know your job is to stay calm answer your questions truthfully and the officer's job is to try to dig holes in everything that you say so um, stay calm but let's get going oh no his are, his no, are very much alive very, very much. much they're a uh... Oh, you're gonna tell them this weekend. Gammy's 90th birthday. The whole family's coming together, and that'd be a nice surprise. And where is this surprise gonna take place? At uh, Andrew's parents' house. Where, where, where is that located again? Um, why am I doing all the talking? It's your parents' house. Why don't you tell them where it is? Jump in. Okay. So, again, during your interview, you're not getting this like back and forth between you and your spouse, being able to answer questions. Um, as the officer is asking, the officer typically has already asked your US citizen spouse all the questions that they want answered. And now when you, the non-US citizen comes come into the room, if you're being interviewed in the same room, you will be asked the same exact questions as your spouse. And you'll be basically, the officer will be checking off to see if your answers are the same. And if they're different, they will dig a little deeper to see if they're truly different or if it's just, you know, if you call your mom by their native name or their English name, things like that, okay? But this back and forth of, oh, why don't you answer? That doesn't happen. Typically when the non-US citizen comes into the room for the interview, the US citizen is advised to keep quiet and not to um, basically respond for the non-US citizen, okay? So this, not typical. <laughs> Sitka. Sitka. 
Alaska. Alaska. You're going to go to Alaska this weekend? Yeah. Yes, yes. We are going to Alaska. Alaska. That's where, uh, that's where my little, that's where my Andrew's from. Okay. Fine. I see how this is going to go. I will see you both at 11 o'clock Monday morning for your scheduled interview and your answers better match up on every account. Thank you. I have to say, I'm looking forward to this Darling. one. Darling. Yes. We're looking forward to this one. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> guys, um, yeah. So, that's, again, not typical. When you're going in for an interview, you're going in for an interview, not a step-by-step -step of, okay, this is just a preliminary interview and then we're going to schedule you for the real interview and then we're going to investigate no when you're scheduled for an interview you're scheduled for an interview uscis does not have the time to do a preliminary interview and then do an actual interview and then do the research okay that's not how this goes you might be scheduled for a second interview after uscis um, does their initial interview but that's typically after they've done their research and they've seen some inconsistencies or reasons to believe that there might be fraud in your case you might then be scheduled for a second interview that's sometimes called a strokes interview so that interview is really where the officers would dig deeper um, and bring out all the evidence that they might have um, to show that your relationship might not be real but your when you're scheduled for an interview that's your interview unless you give the officer the re a reason to believe that your marriage is not real um unless the officer does more research and finds out um and finds reason to believe that your marriage might not be real they may schedule you for a second um interview a more intense um interview but typically that is not the case if you are in a true marital relationship and there's no inconsistencies in your case or there's not nothing negative that the officer finds in your background checks or um, follow-up interviews uh, with um, follow-up checks that they do with employers or if you apply for public assistance for example if they look at the forms and it says you're single while you were married that could cause issues that might lead to other um other investigations so again not typical um you're not getting a pre-interview interview if you know what i mean so that is the proposal i hope you found this helpful i hope going through and actually looking at um a scene of what an interview is supposed to look like according to hollywood you will um at least get some relief knowing that that's not what it's going to really be like the officer is not going to flat out um the second you come into the room um tell you that they are assuming your marriage is fake okay that's not typical and i just want you to know um and going through this i hope you have less stress and you understand what the officers are looking for. On that part, they were actually right on point. The questions they're going to ask them, I guess in this real first interview, is going to be really to figure out if their um, answers line up and if they are truly, truly in a marital relationship. Um, and you can watch my other video about the type of questions to expect at a um, USCIS marriage-based interview okay so i hope you found this helpful if you did please share like subscribe and i will see you next time bye